My name is Dr. John Cole. I am an Associate Professor of Neurology here at the University of Maryland Medical Center. I'm a vascular neurologist, which simply means a stroke neurologist. Uh, my emphasis is on uh, stroke identification and prevention. Uh, really over the short haul where a patient comes in, we work to figure out why they've had their strokes, and then over the long haul, make them not have any more strokes. And in, in individuals which have not had a stroke, prevent a stroke in the first place. My interest in stroke neurology really comes from my background where I was an electrical engineer before I went to med school. Uh, and really, I tie that in with neurology as I'm dealing with the, you know, the, the human body's computer and wiring systems. And so essentially, if uh, an individual has a stroke, part of their brain's not working properly, we diagnose that part of the brain and then why the stroke happened in the first place. Uh, and then, as I've said, you know, try and get them through the current stroke and prevent any more. I've been trained uh, as a uh, physician uh, down at the Medical College of Virginia in Richmond. And then I did a two-year stroke fellowship uh, here at university. Prior to that, I was, did my neurology residency training here at university as well. I also have a master's degree in epidemiology. And then prior to all that, I have two electrical engineering degrees, and so that's kind of, you know, really my training overall. Uh, I've been, uh, you know, doing a lot of clinical work over the last 10 years of, uh, you know, seeing patients both in the hospital and the outpatient setting. Uh, and then I've, I've done a lot of teaching as well, uh, you know, and I also do a lot of research, which primarily focuses on genetic mechanisms of why people have stroke and part of the shift right now is trying to figure out, you know, why are people susceptible but then is there also uh, ways that we can help them once they've had their stroke to give them the best uh, outcomes possible. So it's sort of genetic underpinnings of stroke ca causation as well as genetic underpinnings of stroke outcomes. I really enjoy, uh, to be honest with you, the patient interactions. Um, in all honesty, having a stroke is probably one of the scariest things that could ever happen to an individual. All of a sudden, you know, you cannot move part of your body or do some function that you're used to being able to do. Seeing, speaking, moving, feeling, just out of the blue and very suddenly, you cannot do, do something. And so part of what I like to do is help people get through that, um, which is, you know, part of it is sorting out why it's happened, but also providing them support, you know, and saying, hey, you know, while this isn't good, you know, there's a lot of things we can do to get you through this, give you the best outcome over the long haul, and then, you know, trying to work with not only the patient and their family in this stressful time, but get them through that. And so while it's, you know, can be quite nerve wracking and difficult, I mean, it's really having, you know, part of what I enjoy is actually helping people get through that and explaining things in a clear way so they can understand what's going on. And then over the long haul, I think if you really understand what's going on with respect to your body, you're much more likely to adhere to the recommendations to optimize things. So part of what I like to do is really teach at every level. I, I like teaching the patients, their families, but then we have as a teaching institution our uh, you know, residents and fellows, and then you know, teaching internationally and nationally at meetings you know, and, and really getting the word out. I'm a big fan of keeping it simple, so I think if people understand you know, etiology, i.e. causation, and how you can prevent things, I think they're much more likely to, to adhere to what I'm asking them to do, which really is for their own benefit.